Welcome to the installation video for the Rescue Direct Drive Blower Motor. After troubleshooting the system and diagnosing the motor needs to be replaced, begin by turning the system power off. With the system power off, disconnect the motor leads, making note of their locations on the control board. Taking pictures with your phone can also prove helpful. Also record the location of the motor in the bracket before its removal. Remove the blower housing to access the motor. Loosen the set screw on the blower wheel and remove the screws holding the motor to the blower housing. If the mounting bracket is removable, inspect it for damage and replace if required. Verify the motor specifications on the new motor are the same as the original. Mount the new motor in the bracket in the same position as the old motor and attach to the blower wheel. Remove and replace the old capacitor with a new capacitor rated for the correct microfarads for the new motor. This information can be found on the motor nameplate or the box. Verify your direction of rotation is correct. If reversing is required, simply change the connection on the reversing leads. Reinstall the blower housing and reconnect the wiring to the control board. Rescue blower motors have four speed leads. To determine which lead to use, look at the graph on the box. Find the model number of the motor you are using on the top of the graph and drop down to the horsepower of the motor you are replacing. Where they intersect will be the colored leads for both heat and cool connections. Do not use both colored wires. If there are two colors listed, you can use either lead based on the airflow needed. If the control board has a fan pin location, this would be your low speed connection. The unused leads can be capped off and tied up or connected to park locations on the control board. The white lead goes to the neutral or common terminal on the control board. With the new motor installed, start the system and verify the temperature deltas meet the original manufacturer's specifications and the amp draw is plus or minus 10% of the motor nameplated value. You can find this and other installation videos at usmotors.com slash installation videos.